the program. There's nothing, I mean, uh, there will be the garlanding of text uh, uh, portrait, followed by the reading of a small poem by Tagore, and uh, the significance of the 60th of the gathering here today. And we'll be singing uh, the Janagana Mana, and the Mahila Satta group will be, head, will be standing by the microphones to start it, and there is also a, 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 a recording of it, and we'll all join in singing the national anthem. We decided to keep it very brief, just to, in the spirit of nationalism, to get together and uh, uh, think of the country and the much larger picture. And Dr. J.P. Garu also will be talking about it. Okay, we'll start the program. Huh? Ah. May I now invite Meenakshi Reddy to garland the portrait of uh, uh, Ravindranath Jagor. The nation and also internationally we are going through such troubled times. I would like to read out a poem which perhaps all of you are familiar with, but it will also remind us about what we ought to be doing at this juncture. It's a poem by Rabindranath Tagore, it was written by him in Bengali, translated by him in English. It's from Gita Anjali, and it's called Mind Without Fear. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high, where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls, where words come out from the depth of truth, where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit. Where the mind is led forward by thee into ever widening thought and action, into that heaven of freedom, my father, let my country awake. Thank you. I would now request Dr. J.P. Garu to address the gathering. Friends, I'll be very brief. And if you permit me, I'll speak also partly in Telugu, partly in English. English because they are celebrating nationhood. Telugu because that's the language most people understand locally. We are a nation of a very rich culture and civilization of 5,000 years. A nation that learned to synthesize and syncretize everything from across all lands, far and near. Christianity came to India within a century after Jesus Christ. Islam came to India in sin within a century after Prophet Muhammad. Many people may or may not be aware of that. The Parsis found refuge in this country in the wake of Islamic invasion of their homeland immediately after that invasion. The Greeks came, the Bactrians came, the Turco-Afghans came, the Central Asians came, and a whole variety of people came to this land and found this to be hospitable and a home. There is no nation on earth which enjoys the two unique distinctions, A, of 5,000 years of continuous history and civilization. China is the only other comparable country. And there is no nation on earth 
which has so much diversity in terms of language, culture, religion, and civilizational values, and China cannot match us in this respect. In a very fundamental sense, not a jingoistic sense, we are a very unique and proud nation. Sixty years ago this week, this nation found its true voice. Freedom came in the form of transfer of power on the 15th of August 1947, but that freedom was more symbolic than substantive. It was the formation of the Republic with the embodiment of human values that was the true founding of the nation. And on the 24th of January 1950, the Constituent Assembly has formally approved the National Anthem written decades earlier by Gurudev Rabindranath Tagore. I would only like to draw your attention to two of the lines of Tagore's immortal poem rendered by Dr. Minakshi Reddy. Where the world is not broken into fragments by narrow domestic walls. Every hour, every day, every week, every month in this country, in some form or the other, we are trying to erect narrow domestic walls of caste, of religion, of region, of language. We celebrate our diversity, but we shall not allow them to break up a people, a nation. We are one nation and one people. The second wonderful line of Tagore that always influenced me is, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit. Abhyasapu tadari lo alochana vijnana sravantulu inkipokonda unde lokan loki e desha ne desikupo prabhu and pratichat. Anukshana e desan lo abhyasapu tadari lo alochana vijnana sravantulu inkipotuna. Vijnata alochana pakana peti abhyasam alavatu chandasam manalis asinchet pistuna. And the Ivela, Ivara, Ideshavanta Koda, Chala Mandi, Republic Kuchan Sankata Marchipoina, Dan Kutichet and Bachataga, Retiparogaru, Marandra Mitulu, Dinkosan Punkuna, who was a Manasara apprentice to Nano. Retipagar single handed Inka Turkoda Lakunda, Dinkosan Kastapati. Mano Sankal Pabala on a clay day, Nijay Tegal election course on the Lebanon at Tate, Samajanta Kadirasna and Vishwasan Aduarna to Putan Yudan Naraki, E. character Mokos and Sahas and Jesha. Either about Nagaran law, Father could the Gantal law for the Ekarma Batan Lagoda and Sachanga. Aduar Yudan Kante, Veteran Metzala Vishwas, Maname the Makanamakonda, Anamakon. Jati at the ante cave alone, or Janda Matra Maker Nizanik Jati, Geta Matra Kodaka Rajanga and a Postakan Kodaka Imudu Kalagalipi, E. Desan Lo, Cave Alum, Parata Matha and Pujan Sitame Kakunda, and the man of Parishetu, Putina Putukuto Nimitan Lakunda, Ye Tali Karpana Putina, Pretty Bedeki Undana Vishwas and the Kalgansur of Nijuana Jatia. E. Desan Law, we need to lay a part on the bottom of Nijuana Jatia. Adhikara and Janan Sutu, Tipi, Raja.